Today I'm going to show you how to create an SMS form template. A form template is simply a series of SMS questions uh, and it can go linearly or it can be branching. So I'm going to show you how to create a branching form template. First we're going to go ahead and click into the form templates object and click new and we're going to name it tea or coffee and set the status to draft. We'll go ahead and hit save. And then the next thing we're going to do is add all of our questions in here. These are all of the potential outgoing SMS messages that we can send. Um, I like to actually add my questions backwards. So if I've already listed out what those questions are going to be, I add them backwards and I'll show you why. So if I click new question template here, I'm going to add my last possible question, which is a thank you response. Uh, and the message text here is just going to be thanks for your response. And we're going to note that this is a form completion um, question, which means if somebody gets, send this, gets sent this particular question, it will mark their form as complete. And I'm going to click Save and New to add another option here. And then this question is going to be default question. So the question text that I'm going to have here is please respond with either the word T or coffee. And this is not a, a question that's going to complete or be a first question, um, but it's simply going to encourage someone, if they have not yet responded how I want them to respond, to do so. And we are going to have a default next question, which will be our thank you question. Click save and new again. And then I'm going to add uh, a third question, which is called drink coffee. And my message is going to say, coffee is the best, exclamation point. Form complete, meaning this is going to be a possible end of the survey, so there will be no default next question. Save and new. Add another one, drink tea. Tea is the best. Again, this is a potential form completion, so it'll have no next question. Save and new, and let's do our first question here. Call it coffee or tea. And then this is the question that starts it all off. Do you drink tea or coffee? Respond with tea or coffee. Okay, so we're gonna note that this is the first question in our form. We've asked a question and then told people how to respond. And the default next question, if they don't respond with either of these answers, which we'll program in in a moment, is going to be our default question, which will again ask them to respond with one of these answers. So we'll click Save here. And now we are on the question template for that first question. Um, and in order to program in the branches, because currently, if you look at the form template, we have our first question, which is, do you drink tea or coffee? Respond with tea or coffee. If someone responds with tea, we want it to go to this question, tea is the best, and then complete the form. If someone responds with coffee, we want it to go to this question, complete the form, and send them the message, coffee is the best. If, no, if they respond with an answer that does not match any of the programmed answers for tea or coffee, then we want it to shoot to the default question to say again, please respond with the word tea or coffee. And then based on that, either send them to one of these endpoints, or send them to the default, thanks for your response. So we've created all these questions and determined which is the first question and which are form completion options. And now we're going to create the uh, program in the options for possible answers. So we'll go first into the coffee or tea area, and we're gonna click new possible answer. Now we're gonna fill this out. So the question that's being asked is the first one, coffee or tea, and then the possible answers that we'll expect, accept um, are, let's see, for coffee it would be coffee, and then we're going to add a deliminator um, to separate our different response options, black coffee, cafe, uh, lit, mocha, java. And we'll also add in a response for if they just spell coffee wrong. And another one. Okay, 
So if they enter any of these as their responses for do you drink coffee or tea, we want it to go to the drink coffee question. And we'll go ahead and click save and new and add the same thing for tea. So tea might be an option, green tea, black tea, herbal tea, maybe we'll do some typos. Okay, so if they answer with any of those, we'll have them go to the drink tea question and then save. So now if we go back to that question template, you can see that there are two possible answers. Here's the possible text and here's the next question that it would go to. So we're going to do this exact same thing for um, our default question because again we're saying you need to respond with one of these two things and if they respond with something that would be a tea response we want it to go to tea, coffee response we want it to go to coffee. So we'll click in to that question and do the same thing. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and do some copy pasting. So we'll do new possible answer. I'm going to copy all this text for coffee and pop it in here and then choose drink coffee, save and new, copy all this fine text for tea, pop it in there and choose drink tea and then click save. So now if I go back to my question template, I see again that I've got these different options here. If I go back to the form template overall, I see that I have um, a, a whole flow that's working here. So now I've got the first question, do you drink coffee or tea? We've already seen that we've added in the um, programmed responses to push people to tea is the best or coffee is the best. If they don't respond with one of those, it'll go to the 2.2 default question, which is here, which says, again, please respond with either the word coffee or tea. Again, we've just programmed those to link up here. If someone responds with a um, text that does not include one of those programmed responses, it'll go to this thank you page of thanks for your response. And again, it'll end it. So we're almost there. The last thing we need to do is set our form to active and then create an SMS template. And we're gonna call it also tea or coffee. And if we click save here, it's gonna populate in the text. And this is the exact text from the first question of the form template. So the reason that we do that is, if we go to this form template here, and then on this other tab, if I go to one of my contacts and I choose send SMS and I click the add template button in the SMS tab, it's gonna show me all the different templates that I have options for. Oh, I've spelled that wrong, I can fix that later. So if I click tea or coffee, it's gonna add in the first um, message from our form and I'll click send. Close this up and we should see that message come right through. Here it is. So I see, do you drink coffee or tea? Respond with tea or coffee. And I'm gonna say, no, I don't want to. In that case, it says, please respond with either tea or coffee. So I say, okay, fine. I like black coffee. Coffee is the best, so it's worked. Over here in the form template, if we refresh this page, we can see that a new form has been created, that it's to my contact and that the status is complete. If I click into that form record, I see all of the questions that were sent and the responses that were sent as well. If um, I did not respond to this default question and so I didn't hit one of those form complete questions, this status would say active. But since I hit a form complete question, the status has been moved to complete. And that's how you create a form template in Mowgli SMS.